Hello again, BGFH, back again for another assistive technology video. And to wrap up the whole Serotech suite of products here, I do want to touch on the one of the features that I have been um, mentioning a little bit over the last few videos, and that is the system access remote control feature. And remember again, this is a feature that you do need the Syst the full system access mobile network or SAMnet. You do need a SAMnet subscription to do it. Uh, you, if you just have the regular system access license, uh, you will not get that feature. So this is one of the things that is tied to your SAMnet subscription that is tied to your um, Serotech account number and PIN. <clears throat> so it's one of your features. So I am going to try this. Um, I'm using my desktop computer at home with the installed version of System Access. And I have a laptop here actually running Windows 8. So I will give you hopefully a peek at that as well. And also the remote control. So with any without further delay, let's get started. System Access menu connect to the System Access mobile network. Bring up my modifier yes. F from my System Access menu here. And I can arrow down to preferences, docu scan plus, remote control another computer. Remote C. control another computer, or I could have pressed C. So I'm gonna hit enter on that. Me remote control, choose a computer. Please choose the computer you want to remote delete control. One machine running the user's USB drive. Link. All right. So right now, the first option that I see because I'm logged in as my username here, it sees that hey, this username also has another computer running that has my thumb drive going. So if I had another computer with it installed or if I had a machine running SA to go it would pick up on that too <clears throat> as long as I was signed in with my username or another user's computer link if I tab I can control another user's computer with their permission of course and that is for like if you have multiple people you um, if you have a friend or family member or colleague whatever that is using SAMnet themselves you can connect to their computer or they can connect to yours and you can do tech support, you can demo software to them, you know, maybe you just got a new program or maybe they just got a new piece of software and you want to see what it's like, see how accessible it is or just see if it's something you, you know, that you would be interested in. Uh, you could, you know, log in and take a look at it. You can transfer files back and forth, that kind of thing. But I don't want to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to remote control. Machine running the user's USB drive link. Exactly. I'm going to control that USB drive version here. Remote control my home computer. This feature allows you to connect to your home computer and use it almost as if you were sitting in front of it. First, you will need to set a few preferences for this session. When you're done working on your home computer, press modifier plus shift plus escape and choose to exit the remote session. Disable visual output for this session. Checkbox. Not checked. Okay, we got a couple other settings here to configure before we actually start. And there, they did mention a command that you really want to remember because um, it will come in handy. Modifier, shift, escape. That is going to be your context menu as far as bringing up options for the remote session. So modifier, shift, escape. Definitely want to remember that. And once I connect to the computer, I'll show you what that does. So disable visual output. I do not want to do that because we want to see also what's going on. But if I was a blind user and didn't care, and I didn't want to waste the bandwidth, yeah, I could just have the audio go through, and it would just, um, it would show like the first image when I connect, you know, like the wallpaper or whatever's up on their screen. But from that point on, it just wouldn't show, it wouldn't refresh the screen or show anything else. Start session button. I'm going to start session. Connecting, please wait. System access is active. All right, system access is active. Volume mixer speed connected. Alrighty, so now we're controlling my Windows 8 laptop. And since my laptop is right beside me, um, just in case that it did use the... Um, in, in case the speech was loud on it, I chose to turn the volume way down. But to prove to you that it is Windows 8... Start. Mail. 1. It's not too late to save big. Hundreds of new markdowns. Hurry and get them while they last. Clearance. Hundreds of items. Right, so what I did is I hit the start menu key, and I'm not going to go hugely into Windows 8, but I had mentioned earlier, uh, I think in, in a blog post or an earlier video, that Windows 8 is definitely going to be 
a bit of a change uh, for, for people uh, in some areas more than others. Uh, this is the new there's no start menu. Instead you have this start screen with all these live tiles is what they call them. And the first one that I landed on <clears throat> was my mail mail icon or my mail item in my start menu. And it gave me a little sneak peek at one of my newest messages, which just kind of happens to be some junk mail. <laughs> surprise, surprise. But if I arrow around... Internet, Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer. Store. 13. There's my app store for Windows 8. Bing. Trending. Moment of silence. John Kerry. Alien-like skulls. And NRA statement. Bing. Holiday light. Play guitar. Play guitar. That was an app that I haven't tried yet, but I downloaded from the app store because I was sort of curious. Guitar tuner. Guitar tuner, same thing. Haven't tried it yet, but look, look cool. Travel. Budapest, Hungary. Budapest Editorial Hero 2X1. Some kind of travel app. SkyDrive. SkyDrive. This is kind of Microsoft's version of Dropbox. It's integrated right into Windows 8 now. Maps. Maps. Pretty self-explanatory there. Calendar. 22. Saturday. Okay. Calendar. People. Carl Lander. Penny Hargan. Tracy Wicken. Yolanda Gray. Stuart Holland. Okay, a bunch of people. So what it does is the people thing, it kind of combines, it combines like your Facebook or your mail or your whatever services you plug into it, Twitter, those types of things. So instead of going to a Twitter thing, instead of going to a Facebook thing and go, popping back and forth, they try to pull it together by people. So maybe you follow the same person via Facebook and Twitter and email. So they kind of pull things together that way. I haven't really worked with it too much, but there you go. Photos. Games. Games. Camera. Camera. Weather bug. 24 degree. Partly sunny. St. Paul. Seward Montessori School. Day sun cloud. Mm, Con 04. 24 degrees. Glad I don't have to go outside today. And gadget. Snapseed launches on Android with Google Plus integration. Low now completely free. And Snaps gadget app that I got. That's a tech site that I, I like to follow. Video. Music. Finance. D messaging. Finance, DOW, 13,190.84-0.91%, so minus 120.80, messaging, thing. weather, 13 degree, St. Paul, clear, 26 degree, the separate weather bug, wait, what? Sport, weather, 13 degree, St. Paul, clear, 26 degree, 11 degree, 31. Okay, I'm not quite sure, it must be 20 some degrees, but I wasn't sure what that 13 was, so which one is right? <laughs> Sports, Yahoo, Trevor Price, Rex Ryan might be too nice for his own good news, desktop. So... Mail. That is a One. quick overview of like the Windows 8 home screen and that System Access is reading it just fine. Keep in mind, I'm still sitting at my desktop controlling my laptop just as I was sitting in front of it. So th I could be, I could have this machine at home and I could be at work or vice versa as long as the machine was on and I had this uh, thumb drive running or if I had an installed copy of System Access running with the home server thing enabled, I could access it. Uh, pretty handy and actually pretty responsive. So I can do, like I said, I do the start menu. A lot of the old commands that you are familiar with in Windows XP and 7 do work. So I can hit Windows E. Uh, okay. Internet Explorer. Are you going to do that for me or are you going to? Maps. I wonder if that got disabled. Sky Drive. <laughs> Maps. I remote controlled. Sorry, guys. Let me see if. Sir, wind. Okay. Bing. So, what I did here is I brought up, I just started typing. Apps. So, if I hit Bing. escape here again, um, I, the Windows E does work, but there may be some interference. Volume with mixer speakers. The, High uh, remote control thing here. Um, I apologize, but if I go back to the start menu start, here, mail one twenty. It's not too late to save. Right. So if I start typing, oh, let's say Internet Explorer. Search app. Okay, I just start typing I N T E R N E T. Apps one. Settings twenty two. So. It gives me a list of apps on the left, and then it gives me a list of categories on the right. And this is where it can be a little bit confusing, because Windows 7, the one thing that I liked about it was you could do a search, 
and you didn't have to tell it really specifically what you wanted to search for you could just tell it search for whatever and it would come up with files programs settings control panel areas whatever uh, but now you actually have to be specific and by default if I just start typing it's gonna search for apps so if I'm trying to find a control panel setting which search is box, usually what I text, often do blank, bing, as apps, far as like bing. searching the start menu it works a little bit differently that way but if I let's say that I wanted to search for search settings search box now I'm text, searching for blank. settings so let's say that I wanted power management power change what the power buttons do yep so boom we got power results for power man settings power options change what the power buttons do power, power options or power options change battery settings change what closing the lid does change when the control so those are all kind of things so rather than having to memorize and figure out the whole control panel like I haven't even done that in Windows 7 for that matter because a lot of times I just vaguely start typing and searching for what I want to do and Windows is pretty good about giving me exactly what I want but instead of doing just a search I'll have to do Windows W to search for like settings and Windows F I believe it is for files and <clears throat> so there's a little bit more a little bit more keystrokes that you have to learn um, but that that is really one of the main differences in Windows 8 you still have Windows Explorer, volume mixer speakers high definition you still have your classic uh, Internet Explorer you can run all of your programs so I have JAWS on here if I wanted to run that I could I can install Chrome or Firefox or Office or whatever I wanted I can install all of those things and I still do have the desktop as you can tell here I can do okay so we're at the it's not shut down windows no, I don't closes all down. volume mixer speakers high definition all taskbar So we've got our taskbar. Running applications toolbar. Internet we Explorer still button. We have our system tray. Notification, notification Chevron button. User promoted, user promoted notification area toolbar. So 3% remaining button. Oh, okay. Show desktop, Show desktop button. we have our desktop. So we our battery is really low, actually. But that is a rough idea of Windows 8 So bef and the remote control feature. So I could control an XP machine, a Windows 7 machine, a Windows Vista machine, whatever. Remember that command wi uh, modifier, shift, escape. Remote access menu, minimize session. So I can M. minimize the session. So if I wanted to pop back to my computer real quick, boom, now we're back to my desktop. And that other session is just open as another window. So I can Alt Tab back. Remote to session, it. just at remote boom. session, now just I'm as. back to running the laptop just as if I was sitting in front of it. Do my modifier shift escape again. Remote access menu, minimize, minimize session. Minimize session. M. Disable visual output. Disable visual v. output or enable it if I had it disabled. Transfer files. Transfer files. It's kind of like a little FTP file transfer interface. Uh, works pretty well. Copy files back and forth. Send control plus alt plus delete. Send D. control delete if I wanted to go into and send them like switch user or send a command or task manager or whatever I could go there. Close session. Or I C. can close a session. So I'm going to do that right now. Remote. And boom. No more. Um, no more remote session. So again, I wasn't going to show you a whole lot of Windows 8, uh, but I did want to let you know that uh, like that System Access is starting to work with it pretty well. They've had a lot of updates that have come out recently that have addressed certain issues, so that Windows itself works better, that Internet Explorer 10 works better, that kind of thing. And I haven't had a whole lot of chance to play with it on my own yet, but from what I've played with it so far it does seem to work uh, pretty well and just like Windows 7 you have the full screen magnification and everything um, but rather than concentrate too much on Windows 8 that is a rough overview of the remote control another computer feature of system access and SAMnet so as part of your SAMnet subscription you do get this capability and when I first found out about it found out about it I was actually pretty blown away because until that point there wasn't really a good consistent way to do that I mean JAWS kinda worked at the time but it was really you had to jump through a lot more hoops and 
this was just really user friendly. It worked. Um, I like the ability that you can, con you know, you can work with other Samnet members and control their computer, or they, or you can, they can control yours. Or, like I said, if I have my home media library going, or if I have my home server going, I can access my computer from work or across the country, whatever. Get at files or look up something in a document, whatever. Um, but I do want to show you that because that is definitely a pretty unique and useful feature of system access in SAMnet. So that pretty much wraps up this whole Serotech series. I've covered most everything. Uh, some things I may not have gone into as much detail. And if you have questions or would like to see any kind of particular feature or something in more detail, let me know and I can see what I can do to help and uh, do another video about that. But uh, that should wrap up the system access and Serotech set of videos. Hope you found it useful and I may try to do some other assistive technology videos in the future. But with that, hope you enjoyed this little series and until the next video, whatever it might happen to be, I will talk to you guys next time.